Welcome to the Open Sub course Oil and Gas Secondary Distribution 7.0. This is Unit 2 of Week 3. Our topic for today is Retail Fuel Network Operations Processing Incoming Data by Example. My name is Anne Luther and I'm a Senior Developer for OGSD. In this unit, I want to give an introduction to a process of incoming data in detail with an example of a very simple process. I want to recap the concept of processes, explain the scenario of the example and show the implementation in RFNO. In the unit before, I have given an overview of RFNO concepts. You will recognize the concepts in the example scenario. First of all, the concept of incoming data processing. So let us begin. On this slide, you see the concept of the incoming data processing. You remember it? There are several ways to receive the data from the service station sales terminals via file, via IDOC, or via Barbicorn. The process finder determines which kind of business transaction it is. The business transaction creates new or aggregated items in an RFNO document. After all data are collected, completed and verified, the document can be released and posted by running the customizing process rules. In our example, our data will receive via iDoc. Our simple retail network is composed of one German oil company with only one service station. You think SAP is oversized for this situation? Maybe. The service station type is company-owned and dealer-controlled. The grade items show the other possible station types. The station type decides about the processes. Who is the owner of the materials, who gets payment for goods and for performances. In our mini-network, the customer can buy only one product. The dealer managing the service station is Max and the sales participant is John who gets a commission for the sales events. Of course, this situation is constructed, but so you can recognize the rules concept. Now we have a look at a very simple sales event and the following process. A customer fueled his car at our service station. He paid cash for 80 liters of product premium. With an example price per liter, he has to pay this amount. What happens now? Per electronic file transfer, the data about this sales event will arrive to the SAP system of our company. According to the file format, one of the OGSD interfaces processes the data. Now RFNO has to collect the data for the settlement time span, for example one day. After posting the settlement document, the dealer has to pay the value of goods and the participant gets a commission. Also a goods movement for fuel inventory management has to be posted. Here you find the documents of the first steps of the incoming data process. In our example, we start with an IDOC. An interface processes the IDOC and creates one or more interface documents. The subsequent process of an interface document starts the process finder. The process finder determines the business transaction. In our example, the business transaction named sale of agency goods with cash payment is determined because the incoming payment type is cash, the location type is STCD and the business type is agency. These are the field values customized for this business transaction. To this business transaction, two items are assigned to create. One item category, cash sales of agency, and one goods issue for sales goods. Both in the DSA document. These two items we find in the DSA document in the screenshot. To settle the document, you have to verify and release the document. 
If all checks are OK, you can post the document. Now the posting rules assigned to the item categories are running. In our example, the posting rules of the first item creates a sales order with the dealer Max as sold to party and a credit memo address to the sales participant John. And for the inventory management, a goods movement document is created also. Another simple process could be, the customer at the service station has paid with a credit card. So the company gets the value of goods from the clearinghouse. The process finder has to identify a business transaction that creates documents and items to settle with the clearinghouse. With customizing the business transaction and the process rule schema, you can create every complexity you want. Now let's have a look at the user interface of an RFNO document. The RFNO documents are based on the OGSD process automation toolset. The customizable interface has three parts. First, the header data part. All data shown here are valid for the whole document. You find here the location number and the time period of the document, the partners and the meters. The second part is the list of items. When you select one of the items, the third part will appear under the list, the details. Furthermore, there is another screen part at the bottom. This standard part of process automation toolset shows the document flow and the messages of the protocol. In the example RFNO scenario, we prepared some document types. There is the DSA document that you can use for the dealer settlement. We have seen it in our simple process before. This kind of documents is valid for one location and for, a, for example, one day. The items are created relating to the sales event and the material. Goods movement positions are aggregated sales items. It is possible to create meter reading items and dip reading items. These items you can use to compare meter readings with sales amount or to take stock. A second kind of documents is the CSN document. The CSN document collects sales items per payment card ID and for time span. The items are related to the payment card process, so it is possible to aggregate items for several materials. Then we find the search document type. The PSN document is created for a settlement to a payment card customer. The invoice is addressed to the payer of the payment card contract, not to the clearinghouse. Here we know the customer who bought products at the service station and paid with our payment card or fleet card. I want to conclude this unit with a summary. We re recapitulated the steps of the incoming data processing. Now we know the documents creating for the various process steps. We know the process in more detail, even the process is very simple. We get a, a handle on creating automated processes with RFNO. In the following unit, you will see me again. We'll see applications to manage your own payment cards or fleet cards. Thank you for your attention. See you next unit.